This conference will now be recorded. Great, being recorded, awesome. Um, we have a roll call, please. Councilor Robot here. Councilor Kennard here. Councilor Lopez absent. Councilor Sanchez. Intentions. All right, uh, I'm entering a motion for the agenda, the minutes, and I think on that agenda we want to go ahead and do regular items first, uh, since we're on a time crunch. I move to approve the agenda, moving items seven through fifteen to the top of the agenda, and a motion to approve the minutes for the August twenty third, twenty twenty one. Have a motion, second. Yes. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, motion passes. We will go to item number seven, microsurfacing of residential streets. Mr. Nahr. Okay, we have before you, counselors, is uh, as per the budget, they did give us, and on page 99 of your of your budget, 99 and 100, I'm, I'm being up here, packet, packet. You can see the road fund project, and you can see all my notes. We've been very busy. There's only a couple of projects that we haven't, already got on key rate a bid or already started work but if you look on the page 100 item 18 was a residential and we've had this discussion before uh, my recommendation was the list that i have on pages 101 through 105 uh, these are per priority per the payment condition take five wards take the first hundred thousand or so off of each page, mm -hmm. and that would be the the residential program for this current fiscal year. And I stand for any question. Thank you. Um, questions? I don't have any. Okay, so um, so we're gonna this is gonna go up to to council to find off on this. Um, I was wondering, I have two questions on this. number one. If we decided to add another two hundred fifty thousand or so, is that something that is there the capacity to handle that? Absolutely. Okay, because I, I feel like that as I was looking through all these different projects and stuff there, you know, we want to be careful in adding money, but I feel like that we're going to have money debt. This isn't happening until March of next year. March any, of next year, anyway. Anyway, historically, with the residentials, we used to do a million dollars a year, mm -hmm. and it took us about eight years to get around every street. So I think um, I would like to to, to go into this at the council, but if we could be prepared in council to talk about um, if if we increase, and assuming that we follow the same system, which I don't have an objection to about doing so much per ward, if we increase those all, I guess by another fifty thousand, that would be seven hundred fifty thousand. That would be yeah. I mean, we can make that recommendation. It still has to go to yeah, finance, it, right? It does. It, it would, but. Uh, um, well, we can do it. If it's through here and we do it at council, then it doesn't necessarily have to go to finance. Council. Okay. okay. The council can make a decision to do it, but let's have that information ready um, because I, I feel like that there is a lot of a desire among the council to make sure we're putting money into roads. And it, right now we're feeling pretty good. And again, I'm not, I don't want to commit to anything right now, but uh, you know, I have had, I haven't had a talk with, uh, with, uh, um, with, with, uh, with, with, uh, some of this uh, with, with Joe and and, and uh, the mayor um, and said, hey, we should really be thinking about, you know, where where's an easy place for us to amp it up to where it's not going to be an extra project that we're pushing on. I said, these are already projects. It's not going to require necessarily more work in engineering just to say we're adding a couple more. Well, couple more the, the list on those five pages is about $2 million worth. Mm -hmm. So you have plenty of room for 500000 to $2 million to add money to. Yeah. So And again, I think this is just something that has been neglected for such a long time. And again, assuming that we're all still feeling good about our, our cash position, which right now I think most of the councils are feeling good about our, our financials, that that might be a place where we want to increase it. So um, I think that's my only, uh, that's my only comment uh, is, is let's, uh, let's, let's just be ready to, to be able to discuss that at council if we added say 250,000 or so to this, to this budget. So the council would do that. Um, Again, for all those reasons, I think it's, I think again, a lot of the councilors have expressed concern about can we spend the money? Um, and I think that well, this is an easy one because it's going to take you the same amount of work as the engineering department, you know, as, and and you have enough lead time talking to the contractors if it's going to be in March. Say okay, actually we want to do a little bit more. 
they're obviously going to be one to do that if they're already here anyway that's it's going to be it's going to be cost benefit for them as well so it feels like it's it's a good place to and then we get a, a, just the added benefit of, of catching a little more streets and getting a little more caught up so fantastic any other discussion on that no not for me if not then i would entertain a motion um Um, I move to recommend approval to, has this been to, uh, to City Council or it's just been discussed? No, recommendation of a residential so, program at 100000 per ward. Okay. Um, to, the, council. to the council or to consent? No, to the council. Not to okay. Yeah. So um, I move to approve recommend, recommending um, 100000 per ward based on this list to full council uh, on October 14th, 2021. Great, second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes, thank you. All right, next up, I need to pull this out my front here. Next up, let's go to number eight, uh, the 24 inch water line, Mescalero. Mr. Chair, committee members, uh, I'm here to ask you to ratify the procurement of New Mexico Tap Masters of Albuquerque, New Mexico, to perform emergency 24 inch diameter water main repair in the amount of $201,572.59. Uh, the 24 inch water main in the vicinity of Mescalero Road and Kentucky Avenue was found to be leaking through a rust spot where the pipe had uh, nearly deteriorated. Utilizing RFP 21-005 line stop and valve insertions, the two qualified contractors were requested to give quotes and time frames. Metro Tapmasters was selected based on having parts in stock and able to complete the repair in a more timely manner. Uh, this repair is to be funded by uh, the current water maintenance and transmission budget. Uh, the action request is just to ratify the procurement of New Mexico Tapmasters of Albuquerque, New Mexico to perform emergency 24 inch diameter water main repair in the amount of $201,572.59 and send ratification to City Council October 14, 2021. Staff recommendation is to proceed as presented. Um, just so you know, there are two attachments to it. Uh, JNH did come in a little bit cheaper, but uh, me, myself and Lewis decided to go with the more expensive just because it is about $7,000 difference plus the New Mexico gross receipts tax. So they had the parts on in stock, in inventory, and for our concern of it blowing out and making more damage to the roadway and everything, we decided to go with the one uh, that had it in hand. And just so you know, the line did end up blowing out. So it saved us tons of damage by rushing this repair. And with that, I stand for any questions. Questions? Um, no, this is where that water stands. Yeah, that's Mescalero where it used to stand right there in the mm -hmm. picture on the left. Then the excavation, it did blow out after they exposed it. And these are line stops on east and west of it that actually where we had to force the 24 inch to close or try to close it still had flow through but that way the guys could work even if they were working standing in water yeah yeah the picture on the right is that's the that's the actual line stop that's a temporary valve that kind of it's not so much a valve but inserts kind of like an umbrella in there that stops the flow of the water temporarily and then they can pull that machine back out and if we ever need that location again we can reinsert that machine to isolate the flow. The valve goes in like this, ex, ex, you know, expands and then it closes and pulls it back up. Uh -huh. yep. I'd entertain a motion then. Okay. Um, I move to recommend to ratify the procurement of so Pat Masters of Albuquerque to perform emergency 24 inch <coughs> water main repair in the amount of $201,000. 501, 572, and 59 cents. Let's get okay with consent. Um, do you, you want it to go to consent? Okay, to consent. Okay. Aye. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Okay, we're on number nine, gardens, uh, North Garden Sewer Repair. <coughs> Hey, Mr. Chair, committee members, uh, on North Garden, uh, we have some bad sewer line over there. 
uh, <laughs> we just found out we have worse. We had on schedule to replace from Cherry up to the Saddle Barn on North Garden with a bridge project. Yes. And we just had some uh, more damage. You can see the photo right there. It did collapse, and now we ran a camera. We stripped the line, everything, and the sewer line's in very bad shape. So we have to replace about an additional 1,500 foot. That's from the middle between Fourth and Fifth on Garden, all the way up to Cherry. That includes uh, about 1,500 foot of sewer line and about four manholes, and then all the alley tie-ins. And there's about five lateral sewer lines that are tied into this line along the way will get replaced so yeah there's no there's no cost at this time but a swag was time but about 560 to 600,000 and that's just from fourth to cherry we have additional costs from cherry up to the saddle bar that was already scheduled and, and we had the funding for that and I would say mr. chairman that we just uh, table this until next month because we don't have the numbers to, to give you but that's where we're headed Okay, so this is a recap. Well, this is sewer lines are falling apart. This is infrastructure is aged, and yes, yeah. we have problems. Um, questions? Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, but well, since we don't have any numbers, my recommendation, Mr. Chairman, would be to table sure. it until we have numbers to come back. Okay. Well, thank thank you for the heads up, and. Um, uh, we need to. We're, we're just going to take no action. I'm not going to table it. I'm just going to take no action. Okay, okay, that'll work. Yep. Next item, Mr. Chairman, yep. and committee. Uh, this is the uh, PO requisition for IPR in the amount of four hundred three thousand five hundred sixty-six dollars and twenty-four cents. This is the microservicing that we do historically over the hot recycling. At the last council, you passed the hot recycling. This would be the next stage beyond it. Uh, it's already been budgeted. We've been doing this historically, and I stand for any questions. Washington Richardson Lane, eight point eight seven miles. Great. Yeah, we're going to recycle those same streets, and then we'll put the microservices on top. Yeah. It's like we did South Union last year. And, and, and this is budgeted. This is already in the budget. Okay. Fantastic. Um, questions. If not, I will. Uh, uh, you want this to consent? I think this can go to consent. So okay. Ready. Yep. Um, I move to recommend approval to can uh, approve the purchase order uh, requ requisition to IPR LTD in the amount of four hundred and three five hundred sixty six dollars and twenty four cents for the FY twenty twenty two microsurfacing over hot recycling pavement uh, maintenance operations to consent agenda on October fourteenth. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you. Number 11. 11. Yep, go ahead. Mr. Chairman, committee, this is for a PO for Sandbar in the amount of $67,143.16. This is also in the road fund budget, uh, citywide striping all over town. Uh, just a maintenance item that we, we try to do every year. Uh, just uh, FYI, we have about 759,340 linear feet of striping in town. And this is just for the upkeep. Uh, it is over $60,000, so that's why we're here. We're in it through council and a committee and council. And I stand for any questions. Um, my question, I know that we've Change product because we have to use something that doesn't have lead in it or something. Correct. Back uh, how long ago was that? Maybe 15, 20 years ago, oh, we went from it. no lead to water base. Have the, have the products improved any? Well, if you notice on the stuff that we're doing, the the Nova chips, mm -hmm. we are using thermal plastic. Okay. So well, we are sure. we are putting it on the on the major roads and the, mm -hmm. and the major collectors, and we're doing it there. Mm -hmm. This would be more of the the stuff that hasn't been worked on. Mm -hmm. So we're still going with traditional striping. Sure. How much longer does the the, the other last? Uh, if we go over there and power wash it, it lasts eight years, six oh, okay. years. That's better. Yes. Depending on the pavement. Sure. And usage and a thousand other issues, I'm sure. So, okay, great. Um, any questions? 
I don't have any. Okay, I'd entertain a motion to go to consent, consent okay. agenda, yeah. Um, I move to approve procurement of purchase order for Sandbar Construction Corp of Albuquerque to perform citywide striping in the amount of $67,143.16 to the consent agenda, agenda on October 14th. Second. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, good. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Motion passes. Thank you. Uh, 12, please. Item number 12. And let me explain this picture. If you remember the, the leak that we had in McGaffey and Union four years ago, five years ago, uh, it was a, a leak to one of the two inch blowout valves. Uh, the temporary fix until we got all the parts was take a baseball bat. Of course, it has to be a Louisville slugger, make spec. Right. And then it, and, and we drove, they drove it down with the, the backhoe. But Mr. Sanchez. Okay, Mr. Chair, committee members again. Okay, I'm here to ask you to consider scope of work for an RP 22 uh, 006 on call utility repair services. Uh, this RP is to be issued to establish a qualified pool of vendors to provide utility repair services. The city owns and operates water and sewer utility services. It's good business to have a pool of contractors to provide quotes and timetables in the event of water or sewer repair needs. This is especially true uh, of the large diameter transmission mains and appendices. Uh, attached on uh, next page is a uh, project information, uh, the description and the scope of work, so you can kind of see what this is going to include. We did have an RFP out already for uh, line stops and valve insertions. <coughs> it just as we kind of going through this process, even up here on Mescalero, we found out that we need to broaden our RFP to include additional contractors to do the work. Right now, the one doing the work is actually doing the line stops is doing less of the work than the actual contractor doing the job. So we want to make sure that we got everything worked out the way we need to get to get the right person in there to do the work. Um, Plus we're adding sewer. Yeah, and it and it's adding sewer to it, so it helps us out. So emergency stuff like this, we can get it done immediately, and then we'll still run anything over 60,000 60, through council for sure. Uh, each work order is to be funded from the appropriate department, be it water, wastewater, whatever the fund is that needs the repair work. Uh, the RFP scope was submitted to legal for review, and we're asking you to consider scope of work for RP 22-006 on call utility repair services to the October 14, 2021 City Council. Uh, with that, I stand for any questions. I assume legal gave it a thumbs up. Or yes. And this can go to consent. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll get pulled off, I think. Well, we can try. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, and the reason why I say that is because I think there are some counselors who have reservations for us using outside. They're always, there's always that question, that question that wants to be brought up about should this be an outside thing and then is it a fair process, et cetera. So, um, but I'm, I'm okay if we want to try to put consent. Okay. It works, fits there just fine. Um, I move to approve to uh, con the consent agenda the uh, scope of work for RFP 20-22-006 on-call utility repair services. Second. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Next item is the resolution uh, for the agreement for the New Mexico D OT TPF projects. Uh, if you real, real quick before you, you get there, I just made a note to myself. Well, we really, if it's not too much work uh -huh. on some of these, when we're doing it, looking at these repairs or whatever, it would be really great if we just had a, a little map up there as well. Okay. Um, in the future. Uh, I can, I can uh, do, just, yeah. just, just, we don't need the package, just on the slide. I mean, if you want to put the packet, that's fine, but just, just, uh, just a little map. On the PowerPoint. Like, yeah. On the PowerPoint where that is. So we can kind okay. of, but some of us are a little slower trying to, our geography isn't as good. Okay. So we'll see what we're talking about. So I, I apologize. Go ahead. No, that's fine. And the description is on page 123. Maga we put in for four projects. We were actually granted three of them. So we're going to leverage 210000 into $4.2 million. So that's pretty good. But the first project is um, McGaffey, and we'll be doing from Wyoming to Union. We'll be doing a, a mill and fill plus uh, filling in the gaps with where there's no sidewalk. So a substantial amount of work. The next one will be Main Street, which will be Nova Chipping. Uh, if you remember last year or this season, we did the 
Novichip from College to Country Club. Okay, now we're going to drop back and go from McGaffey all the way to College where we left off, where we started this last time. That's a big area. It's a big area, but if you pay attention when you're driving Main Street, uh, look at the pavement. You can start to see the de deterioration, and now's a good time to do it. And then East Hobson widening was the project that uh, we had the consultant design a couple of years ago because I like to have shelf projects. And boom, you're already getting our money back. So that's the Thompson Road right there. We're going to add some shoulders to widen it. And then we're going to rehabilitate the existing pavement and put an overlay on top. So for safety, for economic development, when you're coming off the 285 for the air center, it's going to be a plus. And again, get all that done for a city match of $80,000 in Hobson. And the resolution is per DLT procedure, and I stand for any questions. Um, so as I'm looking at this, this looks like really good news. I'm gonna make sure I'm understanding this. So basically, in addition to what we've already budgeted for roads this year, this is gonna be an additional. Okay, so in, in the, if you're looking back on your packet, I think page 95. Sure. Very good question, Mr. Chairman. Uh, let me find it. Okay, if you look on your packet at page 99, yeah. if you look at line item number 13, mm -hmm. New Mexico DOT call for projects funding, we we allocated 90,000 mm -hmm. because we thought we might get one, mm -hmm. but we got lucky and we got three. Mm -hmm. So, and, and Mr. Fuentes and finance will have to be doing an adjustment in budget. So that has to go from 90,000 to 210,000 mm -hmm. when you get to finance. And well, that leverage, that 210 is uh, basically 5% of $4.2 million. And that's where we'll get that leverage on those three projects. So that'll bring our total spent on roads this year to- So we'll be adding another $3 million to the total that you have. Which is on, so we'll be up to about $10 million. Mm -hmm. Great. Good, that is excellent, excellent news. Thank you for your work on that and getting those submitted and working with the the, uh, the road department, the New Mexico The, the DOT, uh, Cabinet Secretary Michael Sandoval was very uh, sympathetic to our talks. Great. Awesome. Questions? No, I just think it's uh, it's awesome that uh, because those projects had to be ready to go, right, is, is what you That's what they're it. looking. They're looking for shovel ready. And, yep. uh, in the winter, you think we're just not doing anything when it's snowing? <laughs> guys are getting projects ready for the future. Um, Thank you. What, what do you think your time frame is on these? Uh, We'll probably have them ready to bid in about a month. Okay, we're gonna. We're just. Go I mean, on. they're ready to bid. We're just waiting for wage decisions, and we yeah. need the agreement signed and the DLT and the cabinet secretary say you're okay to bid. And then we need to approve this for the, the for our part. Saying mm -hmm. it's a good idea. It's a good idea. And we, I think that's easy for us to do. So fantastic. Right. It's a win-win. Um, Is this gonna go to full council? What do you, you? What do you? You do whatever you want. You're making a motion. We'll uh, go to consents to see what happens. Okay. Well, I think the resolutions automatically go to. Uh, oh, they go to the full council. To new new business. Okay. So um, I make a motion to uh, recommend approval for resolution 21-XX to support agreements with selected transport uh, transportation fund projects um, in the total of two hundred and ten thousand dollars to the full council on October 14th, 2021. Motion the second, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes, thank you guys, good work on that. Next item, item 14, uh, resolution for the prohibited parking and no parking on the Mississippi Trail connection. Oh, there we go, yeah, map, love okay. it. <laughs> okay, so if you remember at the last council, mm -hmm. you guys approved the, the concept. Yes. So now I need a resolution. So under my authority as city engineer, I can put prohibited parking on the west curb line on Mississippi between uh, Riverside Drive and 8th Street. Mm -hmm. And that's what this resolution is. And I stand for any questions. Can, can you, I know you've talked us through this a couple of times, but what's uh, happening? Yeah, so the. So, I know. so here's the trail. Yeah. So you'll go up the trail, mm -hmm. you'll come across Riverside Drive. And you'll see next to the, the west side, yeah. and you'll go along the west side. Why was the west side? In all these months that I've been looking at it, only one time has there been a car parking here. 
Okay. These these houses, only one house really faces it, and the rest of the whole way, all the way. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, and it's get... funny since we started talking about it, and I drive it. People are already walking it. Yeah. Okay, so and then um, once we get to A Street, we'll go straight across where the red arrow's at. We'll have to put in some culvert pipes and embankment and build a trail connection to the, mm -hmm. the asphalt trail. Uh, so you'll be coming here, here, and all the way up to the asphalt trail up here. So if anybody from the public wants to object to it, this thing you do at the next city council. Absolutely. Okay. Um, have we notified those people? Uh, yeah, I'm going to give them a letter once this passes here. Okay. The guy that will go hand deliver the few houses that we have living right there. Okay. And they'll have the opportunity to speak for or against. Yeah, that, that's great. And I think it's a good idea too. I always want to make sure that we that we've given the public ample time to to have input. And then over here, that's of course the golf course. Right. The other thing is the golf course will take this fence and kind of angle it in a little bit to improve the sight distance. And if you remember, I'm gonna put in speed humps here, 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 here to slow people down. You might, you might get more of an objection over that than you would actually. <laughs> As an experiment. That's great. And stamp any questions. Okay. Questions? Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited that we're moving forward with this. I know that a lot of people have wanted this for a long time <laughs> um, to get this connected, right? That's not under second of the year. Yes. <laughs> for as long as I've been around, we've been wanting this. So I'm really excited about this. Hopefully, we can get it through council. Um, and but definitely we'll make sure that those people do get a chance to or anybody really gets a chance to public input on that but it, obviously we're doing something in their neighborhood that they're going to want a chance to speak to that so um fantastic uh i entertain a motion then um i move to a recommend approval of Re uh, resolution 21-yy to designate the west curb lane of Miss mississippi avenue um, in the 500 to 700 blocks with prohibited parking for use as a trail connection option, Spring River Trail and Cielo Grande Trail to full council on October 14th. Motion second. Motion second, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Hondo River Bank Repair. And again, the reason this one's coming here, it's uh, over 60,000. Uh, you know what we've been having since Memorial Weekend and more came down in September for Labor Day weekend. I don't know why Mother Nature likes the 100 year events on holidays, but he has <laughs> this year. Uh, that's $65,000 worth of repair. Pending more stuff doesn't come down between now and when we get out there. Is that, is that the stuff from the World War II? Uh, no, I didn't see any. It probably might be, but you can see there's repairs all the way up yeah. and down. And the reason this is critical from my end. That's the Hondo Trail. Sure. I don't want to lose any of our own infrastructure as well. And is, what street is that we're looking at there, right there? Uh, you're sitting on Elm Street. Okay. And then uh, if I was to look, okay, you're looking to the east. Uh -huh. If I was to look to the southwest, the splash pad on 2nd Street. Okay. okay. Questions? Uh, Two outside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, What's going to happen? I don't know what you're yes. here, but I've already closed the trail. We've got barrels already up here for <clears> safety <throat> purposes. I closed the trail, and we'll clean all this up. We're going to backfill it. We're going to put concrete. Instead of using rock, we're going to stamp it yeah. and make it look like what it is. I mean, it's kind of match the area. Hmm. But as you kind of look, even here and here, there's different repairs, different material. Mm -hmm. But from uh, to pay, instead of paying the the cost of a, a mason, we'll just do concrete people and we'll and we'll just stamp it. I don't know, but. Uh, Good. Good. Okay. Good. Thank you for that. Um, any other questions? I entertain a motion, please. Okay. <clears throat> I move to recommend approval to. Uh, this can go to consent. Yes. It is. Okay. Uh, to the consent agenda, the requisition of purchase order of the purchase order to Abraham's Construction in the amount of sixty-five thousand dollars 
65654 um, and $0.30 for repair of the failed Hondo River Channel Bank East of Elm Street um, to October 14th, 2021. Second. A motion to second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Okay. Um, go back to item two. Yes, that would be great. That was good, guys. Oof, rock and roll. Okay, update on the project updates, uh, the bridge and lead project. And the picture on the left, this is our diversion dam, which I call them the giant uh, Lego blocks that we used on the Hunter River by the old payment. Uh, three times they've already been set up and knocked down. The contractor doesn't give up. This was already taken two weeks ago. Since then, all this concrete's been you know, the concrete here. They poured a foundation over here. They're pouring this foundation for more ring walls over here. And maybe by the end of the week, we'll have the other wall. And we gotta let the concrete set up and get strength. And probably in two weeks, hopefully, we'll be pouring the deck. And once we have the deck, it gets strength, then we can backfill it and the hole starts going away. But uh, kudos to the contractor that's been in there. Fixed it, flooded, fixed it, flooded, fixed it, flooded. Yeah. And they don't give up. You know, you mother nature and perseverance is there. I know it's not all the citizens understand that, but you can argue what you're gonna lose. Yeah. <laughs> but and that, that date, next slide. And then uh, this is Washington. The picture on the left was uh, we were milling. Uh, Washington, our first phase of South Washington, the project is from McGaffey all the way to Alameda. Uh, we were milling on Friday. The picture on the right is Saturday. Uh, myself and two of the crew, we worked on Saturday. Uh, we've already milled and paved uh, from McGaffey to the bridge. They're milling today, tomorrow, and Wednesday from the bridge to Alameda. Scheduled to pay Thursday, Friday, but Mother Nature might change our mind if we get the rains. But uh, it's rock and rolling. Yeah. Help me understand how this is connected or not connected with what we put on ICIP. Okay, so this is going from uh, McGaffey to Alameda. On ICIP, we recommended from Alameda to 8th Street. Okay, so it's, next, it's, the next it's, a, it's a piece in between, and then on the hot recycling, we're going to do from 8th Street to college. Right. So, I mean, Washington's always, is a corridor always on our radar. Uh, it just can only do it in pieces and if mm -hmm. you guys give me money. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you may be doing this already, I don't know. But uh, uh, I, I would sure, uh, and this is more of a, of a, of a marketing thing, but I'm sure, uh, hope that our, our city communication staff is putting as many of these pictures as possible on social media. Uh, I didn't, Johnny did interview me on uh, Oh, great. And, and put out an article that great. What we're trying to do is we go from uh, street to street. When we start something new, we're going to do it. Just to give you a heads up, this is happening uh, this week with Mother Nature. We might finish next week. And then on October 11th, we're jumping to college, mm -hmm. and we're going to Nova Chip, which is already approved. You already approved the POs from uh, Main Street to Atkinson. So, so you'll have a Nova Chip, yeah. and then uh, you'll have thermoplastic on top of that Nova Chip. And then we're going to have two Nova Chip also on Atkinson from college north to the end to the park. Same thing, we'll, we'll put a Nova chip on that. We won't do the shoulders, just the driving lanes. It's mm -hmm. just a maintenance operation, then we'll put thermoplastic. Tomorrow, the crews and I, with JNH Services, we have a pre-construction conference for Atkinson from 2nd to Cherry. That's so, exciting. Yeah, great. So, you know, we'll probably have some closures. I know some of the citizens are happy there's orange barrels, some are not, but when the dust clears, Everybody should be happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you've challenged me to spend the money. I've accepted that challenge. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. We like that. We like that. And I stand for any questions on any of the projects. Uh, we have Trent Moore with facilities. If you have any questions on any facility projects that are ongoing. It just the, uh, I heard a rumor that, that we've got some work happened over at the uh, convention center. 
Yes, uh, we uh, started and completed. Well, the sewer line itself is completed. Uh, the carpet should go back in this week and it should be a completed. And so we get those restrooms working on the far side again? Yes. Sir. And with enough capacity? <laughs> yes, yes with enough, enough capacity for everything. Good. Excellent. That's great to hear. That's great news to hear. There it is. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, number three, Air Force. Yeah, Stephen Christopher from the airport, Deputy Director. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'll go to the next slide, please. So, um, once again, this is to provide an update on the Southeast Waterline Project. Um, there's really been no change since the last meeting, unless Lewis has anything. No, I haven't okay. seen anything since the 60% review. We just had to, this is uh we briefed the airport advisory council on it so that's the only reason i threw this slide in so next slide please that'll be the overall project uh next slide please so one of the things that we are moving forward one is the baggage uh room what's happening is, is we're tearing a wall out and behind the airlines so that we can install a scanner uh, what this is going to do is increase the baggage flow so that not each bag right now gets has to be hand inspected uh, when we get this completed, then we'll be able to run it through the scanner. So that and that's supposed to start happening next month. Um, we should have the wall torn out probably within the next two weeks. So we're basically dependent on TSA because they're the ones installing the scanner. So um, they they've told us that their goal is around the end of October. So next slide, please. Tax wage Alpha Juliet project that'll begin October 11th. We had the kickoff meeting last week. Um, contractors on board were doing all the safety precautions. Uh, we had tower down uh, just so that we're going to be closing runway 17. So we were working out contingencies for 2 1. One of the things that's going to be challenging on that is that we have Cessna and Boeing coming in to do flight testing. So it's going to be challenging with one airport or with one more runway. So we're working out contingencies on that. Um, next slide. How long do you think that's gonna take now to get that worked out? Uh, 75 days. So we're hoping to be by November um, or the end, but we're, we're adding time in that for, for delays and stuff. Sure, wise. So, and then one of the other things that happened too is, and I didn't make a slide for it, our South Hammerhead got blown away. Um, United pulled a 777 they didn't follow the instructions. They got too close to the edge of the ramp. So basically it blew our asphalt away. It damaged a bunch of our signs. So we're going to be taking the millings from the tariff on Alpha and Juliet. Mm -hmm. We're going to go down with the six inch base and redo that. Uh, this, this was a plane that was being stored by United. He said, yeah, they were putting it back into service. So um, we're going to be basically going down to a six inch base and then we're going to be uh, uh, mulching and then rolling it. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Uh, next slide, please. So just so you know, the reason I said that is because the millings are going to get used mm -hmm. into that. Great. So a scent hangar project, um, site plan is complete, survey geotech. Um, phase one will be done October, by October 15th. Um, and a scent was in town last week where our leases and the agreements are in legal now. Uh, they've been going back and forth, so uh, we have a, a lot of red lines. We have an M, uh, M MOU's in MOU is signed though by both parties, correct? Um, the MOA and the two have been signed by assent. By assent, yes, yeah. in the city. Yeah. Okay. We're in the uh, in the ground lease negotiations. Excellent. Yeah. So then now we're just looking for the construction, which will be on the next next slide, please. So essentially, this is phase one. Um, it's just going to be the hangar. We'll start the parking and then spot for two hangers. And then if you can go to the next slide, please. That'll be phase two, which will be the additional hangar and the additional parking. Is there any questions on that before we move forward? So phase one, the thing that we're working on right now, right? If using your crystal ball and your powerful predictions of the future, assuming, assuming that, uh, where are we? How how far are we out from seeing that? that new structure out there? Um, I think we can, 
I think we'll start breaking ground in November if everything okay. if we get the numbers. Finance is on board. It's just a matter of getting everything finalized. Mm -hmm. um, the the uh, phase one is not going to have any issues. Um, Armstrong's told me that they're they're realistically thinking maybe towards the end of November. The only thing about for uh, for actual uh, possession or actual usage it may be in the May. It, I know they're targeting for March, but it's probably going to be May. Spring, summer next year. Yeah. So, and then, but the good news of that is, is I thought you were going to ask, but that is, is that we're anticipating midway through construction that we'll go ahead and get the go ahead for the second. For the second phase. Yeah. Which would be, which would be great too. You know, I, I can't emphasize enough how important this particular project is at the airport, you know, because if we can analyze it at the end of the day, we haven't had empty hangar space for decades. Um, and you can't work on big airplanes without hangars. And jobs come when you can work on big airplanes. And we have places to park them, we have a great runway to land them on that we've, that we've done, but we just don't have space. Sure. Um, and so this is, gonna, it's, this, is, this is such a critical project. And every time I think about it, I get a little nervous because I'm, I'm worried that the wheels are gonna fall off, right? Um, yeah, thank you. Really but uh, um, <laughs> so, uh, but man, if we can get this done, what a huge win for the, for the community, what a huge win for the city, and even I think a turning point for the the air center, which has has been trying to to uh, struggling to turn the to turn the the air center has been well run, it's been well managed, but it has not been positioned for growth. And this will be the, so I want to I be very careful because I know that some people have said for a while the city hasn't managed the air center well at all. I disagree with that assessment. I think the city has done a pretty good job. And I think we've improved over the past, you know, eight years or so. We've done, we've done, a, we've done better and better with it and we continue to improve. But this now, we take that air center, now we're taking it and let's, let's really start creating some growth out there because that's what everybody really wants to see. And so I'm, I'm super encouraged by this. I was encouraged to hear that, that, that the MOA has been signed by them. Uh, so, because, you know, well, I'm not going to say that, strike that. <laughs> Ask me later if you really want to know what I say, but, but, so I'm excited. Thank you for your work on it. Thank you for bringing, bringing this, this report as well. Um, and, uh, keep us, keep us posted on it. Thanks, Lloyd. So, um, the other thing that just, this is an FOI where the water rights issue, the FAA came, um, down and this is, this is an attempt to go ahead and clean up some of the language. This is, um, uh, did it get tabled on legal or? It is going back to the AAC. Right, it'll go back to AAC next month and then it'll go back to legal. But I just wanted to make the, this committee aware of, of there's a water rights thing. And what basically what's happening is, is do the FAA indenture and the grant assurances, um, the, the airport has to have has to get possession or has to be compensated for the water rights that are on the center. Uh, what's been happening now is, is they're basically doing the billing and then it uh, gets paid to the air center. center. What Mr. Nibbs uh, resolution does is basically takes that away, leaves it in water, and then the water department is going to uh, just buy the water rights and pay the certain amount. So basically it zeroes out. There's no, nobody's gaining, nobody's losing. It just equals out. Is that fair? That's fair. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> but that that's just for for informational purposes. Is there any questions on that? No. Okay. Not right now. No. Yeah. <laughs> Next slide, please. Uh, road building. Um, Joe and um, Mike Spree too with uh, EDC went to Maine and spoke with Rob. Um, there at the time there's a building there that they have it was made for another company in New Mexico or another entity uh, they didn't buy it so it's available for purchase um, we had to move quick on this this went to um, legal and it'll be going to the council but essentially what this does is, is we get to buy the building for about 50% uh, of the cost um, next slide please yeah so it's going to be about 650,000 and we're anticipating uh, just going ahead and trying to get the letter of intent because they had uh, three other buyers there. So we're trying to get that building. It'll be here uh, once the council approves it, we can purchase it. And what this does is this also brings us an ability to either put 
AVEX, which is a, has twin otters, or we can turn this into a warehouse. But the key we want to move on that is one, this is a rub hanger just like the ascent hangers, but it's also building the infrastructure. You know, if we start putting new buildings up, we're going to get, you know, the business. And uh, like your analogy is, is that we don't, we're really limited on space, and even the ascent hangers are already full. So this gives us availability, but we've already got two tenants interested in it. Um, Gen Air has bought a back shop that they're going to be bringing in, so they're going to be looking at it, and AVEX is looking at it again for storing their twin otters. So um, it's an opportunity for the city. You're going to see it on the council, and we want to move on it, especially with this, because I, I and we, we there's a lot of us that believe is even if you build that building and you don't put anything in it, it's something new that's on the air center, and it's going to direct, direct it to the right amount of attention. So if we build it, somebody's going to rent it because we don't have any much available space out there. So is there any questions on that? Okay. Just go ahead. you know, I, obviously it's something the council's gonna have to, to think about, but I think these are good projects to bring. Um, and I appreciate staff bringing opportunities to the council. Um, when you see an opportunity, this is an opportunity. Uh, you know, there, there was one thing that happened what six months ago or so when, when staff brought the opportunity to purchase the corner of the, with the zoo property. We ended up voting it down, but I didn't want staff to be discouraged and saying, don't bring opportunities to us. We may or may not bite on them, but we want to see them. We want to have the opportunity to do that. I think we will bite on this. I sure hope we do. I, I'm absolutely in favor of it, but, uh, but thank you for bringing that to us. And let's keep bringing these kind of, as we see opportunities um, to, to make uh, what I call strategic investments. Um, and I think this certainly will be a good one, um, assuming the council agrees. So thank you. Next slide, please. So here we go. Um, with growth, we also have to start taking out. And one of the things that we're challenged with is, is we need to transition the air center to an air center and not an old Air Force base. So this is one of our steps to that is, is building 112. It's, uh, it's, met, it's met its lifetime. It's time for it to be demolished. Uh, we've got some issues with the building that's going to cost us more to uh, remediate it, then it's going to be to um, demolish it and haul it off. So um, that's that's going in front of the council as well. Um, we're still waiting on getting uh, estimates on it, but um, we've got constructors and the the other company that's on the open bid with the city now. Yeah, because we're using the we use the pool for this. Yes, but we're just waiting to see what their numbers are. They haven't responded as of today. Next slide, please. Okay. So, okay. any other questions? Great. Any other questions on, on the airport? Very good information. I, I appreciate you bringing. I know that you also take a lot of stuff to the legal as well, and I hate to add extra stuff to you, but I really think it's important for us to hear about these things early, right. put them in this form early. I think it's 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 really useful. So, I do appreciate staff taking the time to do that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You got to go. Okay. So, um, we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and let him do the presentation. But we're the fish. The meeting. Uh, we're losing a quorum. So the 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 meeting is officially over. I will I will take. We got two minutes left. I'll take public comment. Go ahead. I have one question. Uh, Juan, could you go back to item thirteen? Item thirteen. Yep. Which one was that? What was item 15? It's the tops and road. There, there, yeah, you're right there. Hold on, give me one second. No pressure, one. <laughs> Sack. <laughs> My two minutes are up. That's there. Just leave it there. That's it. Don't worry about it. Right there. Right there. Don't screw it up. I've often wondered those tanks, fuel tanks down there. They're on the airport property. Who actually owns those? Glad you asked that. Okay. The airport owns it. We've got, uh, it'll probably, if it doesn't, it may go to council this month, if not next. We are talking to an outfit that's going to. Take the tanks down, put the scrap, 
So we're just having to do the proper paperwork process to have the salvage because it's a zero value because we have a contractor taking it out for the expenses that were caused. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, cool, yes. We're getting work done, guys. Three tanks I've ever seen. Yeah, yep. we're, we're, we're getting work set. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the meeting is officially adjourned. Uh, I would like to see the, the update on the on the uh, on the cell. By the, okay. Since the press is here and just for the, for the benefit, but again, we're not we're no longer at the quorum. We don't quorum, so we're no longer in official session. This is now just a friendly chat. I mean, I guess technically you can stop recording too. But. Yeah. While you're looking for that, I, I do appreciate all the pictures. <laughs> I, I, they're awesome. You like them? So just a just a council chair, since we're having a funny chat, just kind of give you an update on on the cell five A. This does cover approximately about twenty acres at the landfill right now. And the expectancy that we have with the cell based on our previous fill rates about 10, it's about 10 years. This was a $3.3 million project. Also 